what's going down? What is going down? I'm over here at Myers house about to take this Christmas wrap off that 2000. I think it's about time to come off. And I think I'm gonna max my camera out today in that 2000. So I'm gonna show you guys how it comes off, I guess, on the S2000 because I heard it's a pain in the ass and it's a lot harder to take off than it is to go on. And I guess I'll show you guys if you have an S2000, I have an AP1. I'll show you guys how to max the camera on that too. So let's get the day started. I'm gonna pull the car in and prep it to max it out and prep it to get that Christmas wrapping paper off of it. Alrighty, cars here, check. Myers has the jack and jack stands, check. I think I'll need a 17 socket and breaker bar only just to adjust the camber in the rear. First, I need this. Look who's in the way. Boy. Myers. Let's go around. You want to grab yourself about two jack stands. One and two. I always want to make sure you got something to chalk the wheel. Ah, nice, nice and tight. Nice and tight. Jack stands ready to go in. From both sides. Drop. I like to jack my car up on the diff, you know? Holy shit. I might not be able to make it on the diff. My exhaust is hanging too low. Oh well. Find a new spot. That looks perfect. Cool, 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 cool. This is where I'm gonna jack it up right there. Perfect. Just like that. Ladies, gentlemen, YouTubers, subscribers, fans, cars in the air is ready to go. About to max that, that camper out right there. So let's get to it. Before I start, now that we're in the air, I'll show you guys. This is the stock camber, and I'll show you how the bolt looks when it's not maxed or anything. This is what the bolt, oh, right there right there that's what the bolt will look like you put a 17 on here loosen this side and then you put a socket on the back and you turn it and this right here will swap to the other side from right to left that washer with all the dials on it it'll swap onto that side and push this out which will be push this right here which will be maxing your camber yeah That wasn't hard at all. And then you just turn this to where it rotate onto that side. And boom. Make sure that's about lined up right there. That's the middle. That's about max camber. If you guys can see it, I'll show you a little closer. See that right there? That's about max camber. Just about max. But then you're gonna have to mess with this bolt down here and adjust that because the toe is going to be off and your tire is going to be leaning a little bit inwards like that instead of straight. So I'm going to have to go and adjust this bolt right there too. But first, let's go ahead and tighten this side up. Now that it's on where we need it. It's about as tight as I can get with a wrench, but I'm pretty sure I can make it tighter from this right here. Don't need that coming undone whatsoever cool that's about maxed out right there 
and then you can just duplicate this onto the other side over now with this next bolt right here i'm pretty sure this is the toe on my back tires so i'm gonna just adjust that to where this is leaning over here and tighten it back up and it should adjust my toe i might not max it all the way out because i don't think it needs to be maxed but i'll make it to where my tire is lined up straight and not driving sideways fighting each other cool just got done adjusting the toe now i'm no real technician or know anything about toe but i know it's supposed to be at least straight when i drive it and not fighting against the other toe from towing in like that but to me it looks okay and i'm just eyeballing it maybe later on i'll get it done professionally without them touching my camber but for now it looks all right to me and boom car is back on the ground i'm pretty sure that's about right that's about right at least to my standards you know i guess i don't have high standards as long as my camera's maxed out and it looks good parked that's all that matters makes it to a show is good well now that it's done i'm gonna go take this car on a test drive make sure it doesn't wobble back and forth from a jacked up toe and if it doesn't wobble and i can drive pretty goddamn low like if i'm static i'm good coolio g just got done taking the car for a test ride road smooth of course it's always loud because it's an s2000 you know inside is not quiet if you own an s2000 you understand what i'm talking about inside sucks Myers over here thinks he can put some sound detonating in there to help me out with that noise from outside but Till then, I'll deal with it. But for right now, I'm gonna get headed on to taking this wrap off. Uh, I'm not gonna time lapse it this time because it's gonna take forever in a day and I don't wanna waste any film. So I'll catch up with you guys periodically and we'll get to it now. I know this is what you guys wanna see. Everybody kept asking me, can I just rip it? Can I just rip it? Hell nah. Look at that. That's on there tight. That was on there. I had to actually tug on that pretty goddamn well to get that to come off. Nice. And the trash it goes. So long till next year. I forgot to tell you guys, right now it is approximately 440. And I'm going to time it to see how long it takes to get this whole car with the wrap. So check back up with you guys in about a good 30 minutes. Maybe I'll have the whole thing off. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Well, all right, guys, I guess I decided to update you guys and show you my progress so far. Uh, it's been about 9 15 minutes, and I got actually a lot off. But my biggest downfall is the tape I used was not too great. So it's leaving a little bit of residue behind. I actually had one incident on the back of my bumper where I pulled the tape up and actually pulled the paint off and it turned it from black to gray. But luckily, I plan on wrapping this car, which you guys will see in the future. So I'm not too stressing about it, but at the same time, I kind of am. But I'll show you guys the progress so far after not even being 15 minutes. Back to this black again. This is that residue I was showing, uh, talking to you guys about. There's that residue. This is the hood. It's about off. This fender is a couple pulls, and that's off. Bumper's probably going to be hectic because I put so much tape on there it's back to this door holy smacks look at that that needs to be washed like today i think it's gonna rain rain come down help me out give me a free wash but yeah this is how it's coming out so far with less than 15 minutes of work so I'll update you guys when it's about off. So, with about exactly 30 minutes to the seconds, about 30 minutes it took to completely take this wrap off. Now, it did leave a lot of stuff behind uh, because it got rained on for one. So, I think some of the color of the paper dripped out and fell into the car. Uh, it got a few blemishes, but I think it'll all be buffed out. There's only one part that really got messed up is where I pulled the tape off in the back and that tape pulled paint up, which was weird to me, but it happened. But I do plan on wrapping the car, so one day that'll all be covered up. Everything on the car will be covered up. Right now, it definitely needs a big, big wash, like nice scrub 
of a wash. Yeah, it needs a scrub. But I'll show you guys how it looks. So this is the side of it. This is what all came out. I think it'll all rub out. It's basically damn. Rub me up. Damn near the whole car. <laughs> that's the front. I think it was raining and it got all this on there. Need me a burr. Need you a burr. Mm hmm I wish that was my ride height right there. I'd probably scrape the world. But yeah, I can't I can't drive that low. Let's go check the other side. This is the part right here where I was saying it took up my paint that is exactly the only spot that came up from my paint but besides that everything else i think is wipeable and it'll come off this side isn't too bad right there i don't even know why it looks like patterns right here but i got some right there holy moly there's some scratches right there but like i said i'm not too worried about this paint because i do plan on getting it wrapped one day in life so car is completely finished it's unwrapped my christmas present to me was my car it's unwrapped now but yeah the wrap is off the toe and the camber is about maxed out right now i'm still on stock arms and stock camber stock everything so it's possible to do but i'm probably gonna have to upgrade a few things because i might wear out some of my bushings in the back so i'm planning on getting some of those along with my wrap to fix this paint but I ended up getting a fender to lip fitment now from going from stock camber to max camber So I'll show you guys that that max camber right now because I feel like that shit's dope as fuck And I'll share with you guys on Instagram which you guys can follow me about right here You guys will see more pictures of it, but I'll show you right here in the vlog That fender to lip is dope Oh man, can't wait till I can start putting a lot, a lot of work and time into this car. With the way my job is set up, I can't really work on this car as often. I actually don't daily drive it as much. I drive my other car, but I do plan on putting a lot of love into this baby right here. I had it the longest, so it deserves a lot. This side also is a fender to lip. You guys want to see the back view of this camper now? Woo! Just kidding, guys. I'm a little excited about it. A little excited. Maybe next time, try to give the front a little bit of camber. But this is what it looks like. If you guys ever had that Christmas wrap on your car, I do recommend next year, if you didn't do it this year, but next year, I recommend you guys using a, a sort of a tape that it's not as sticky. Yes, it needs to be sticky so it can stick down, but don't get as sticky as possible because that's what I did so I wouldn't have it fly off. And it kind of leaves residue behind, so when I wash it now, when I have to hand wash it and scrub the hell out of it, but, I mean, that's my problem. That's my fault. I don't mind doing it, but for you guys, to let you guys know, you do need to make sure you have the proper tape. And if you don't have a garage like I don't, make sure that you can care for the damage is going to cost i meant the damage is going to cause from the paper being wet and leaving residue behind on to you that'll car. do it for today's vlog i'm here home got the car parked don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon